exploring the search results. Hi! Now that we know how to build a search expression, let's explore and browse the results. Let's start with the topic already worked on. Use of cranberry as a treatment for urinary tract infection in women, compared to pharmacological treatment for prevention or reduction of recurrent infection. In the virtual health library, we have the result page where the number of retrieved documents is shown, the available filters and the presentation of the references is done in short format with the main data of each document. The search terms were retrieved in the title, abstract and subject fields. You can choose see more details to show the abstract and subject of the documents. The abstract is the original from the document itself. Results from Medline always appear in English, and from Lilacs in the language of the document. The subject comes from Dex Mesh, Descriptors in Health Sciences, in the interface language. The availability of descriptors in the document depends on the indexing process, which is done after the document's date of entry into the database. That means that some of the retrieved documents don't have assigned subjects yet. Where do we find the search terms and how do we see these terms in the results? In the VHL, we retrieve these terms in the title, abstract and subject of the documents. Terms can be in English, Spanish, Portuguese or the language in which the document was published. In the abstract, if the document is from Medline, the words will be in English and if it is from Lilacs or another database, it will be in the language of the document and eventually translated into other languages. The descriptors are shown in Spanish, English, Portuguese or French, according to the interface language. Let's check the retrieved documents according to the search expression. At least one term of each PICO element must appear in the document. Here's an example. Here's a reference in which we confirm that at least one term of each PICO elements has been retrieved. Underlined in red are the terms of element P, referring to population, which appear in the title and also in the subject of the document. In green, terms of element I, intervention, present in title and abstract. In blue, the C element of control, with terms present in the subject field. The terms of the three elements are represented in the bibliographic reference. And so it is with all documents retrieved in this search. To refine or customize the results, we can use filters generated from data fields or search expressions. Let's see how it works in the VHL with a small example. The VHL filters are located next to the list of references and can be selected according to interests. The search in the VHL is simultaneously processed in several health area databases and the same search expression is used. The items retrieved in each filter are in order of occurrence, so the ones that occurred the most in the search result appear first. In the example, under the study type filter, the controlled clinical trial appears first, that is, more controlled clinical trials were identified in the result than other types of study. You can also customize the filters you want to see in the interface by clicking on the More Filters button and selecting the desired ones. It is important to note that between each filter, the end operator is applied, and between each filter item, the OR operator is applied. This setting can be modified by editing the expression in the search detail box that is located on the right-hand side of the results page. We can also select the filters or filter items that we want to apply to our results, thus obtaining new results. Filters are rebuilt at each iteration, as the search is reprocessed. It is important to document the entire research, from the search expression creation process, research question, 
PICO, the selection of terms and construction of the search expression. Everything should be fully documented so that we can retrieve the same or updated results again when needed. The VHL offers some resources that help in the documentation process. The first and simplest is to use the result URL, where the entire search expression is. By saving the URL and applying it again in a browser you will get the result that is always up to date. You can also copy and save the search expression from the search detail box. Another way is to download an RSS reader and export the results to it, which also allows you to access search result updates, and also export the result to reference managers or to a spreadsheet software, send it by email, print it, or share it on social networks. A recommended resource is my VHL, where you can build your collection and save the search results to the history. To do this, you need to create an account using Facebook, Google or by filling out the corresponding fields and your profile. Once registered, always log into the service before searching. My VHL presents services such as dashboard with summary of activities, interest topics, favorite links, favorite documents, for when you include a document of the result in your VHL, search history that is recorded when you are logged into my VHL, RSS reader, and an area for my publications. We invite you to access this service, document your search results and add new documents to your collection. This concludes this lesson on information searching and invites you to go to the lesson on advanced searches and search fields.